This is a major event in American history. I don't think I'm overhyping it to say this. You know, the Supreme Court has never said, is it okay, has never answered the question, is it okay to put gay people in one category and straight people in another and, and say, well, we're going to give government benefits, whether it's marriage, whether it's tax benefits, whether it's access to child custody. We're going to put give benefits to straight people and keep them away from gay people. That's those are really the, that's the core question at the heart of both of these both of these cases, and we're going to know a lot more about the answer starting tomorrow at ten in the morning. In the largest view, no matter what the Supreme Court says this term, my prediction is we're going to have gay marriage everywhere in in America. Even if the Supreme Court doesn't do it this term, um, very soon within the next five to ten years, um, and that's just because of larger trends um, with uh, the people themselves and 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 played out I in the states. Um, we're in the midst of a, a massive social revolution um, and uh, and the question is whether the Supreme Court is going to be um, uh, exactly with the tide a little bit ahead of the tide or a little bit behind the tide the reason this is so interesting is that it a lot depends on how you measure. If you look at the number of states that recognize same-sex marriage, it's only nine, um, and, uh, um, and, and that's a minority. But um, if you look at um, uh, poll data, the, uh, I think a decisive majority of Americans are now in favor of this, and that's unlikely to change. That will probably only increase. Um, California, several years ago, the people of California re rejected um, gay marriage and, and put in their constitution an anti-gay marriage. A provision, Proposition 8. If they were to re-vote that today, I think the result would be um, uh, dramatically different. And, and, and so the question is, will the Supreme Court just, in effect, count the states, as it sometimes has in, in various contexts, cruel and unusual punishment or elsewhere, or whether it will look at other indices of broader public opinion and to what extent it actually thinks that public opinion matters. Tell us, measure the velocity of the change after not seeming to go anywhere for so long. We, when we started, I, mean, I, I wrote the first piece in 89 and, and in, in defense of this, and for the first five years, they laughed at you. I mean, seriously, yes. gay marriage? I mean, they were like, they were laughed at you. And, and for the first 10 years, people forget this, but it was the left that was, that, that was opposed to this, thinking it was, I was a patriarchal, trying to join an institution that had oppressed women for centuries. Yeah. Um, I was a suspect because I was a Reaganite and so on and so forth. Evan Wolfson was the great liberal pioneer of this in terms of the legal, the legal work. And we, we were forever at 33, 33, 33. 33 marriage, 33 something else, please. Yeah. 33 <laughs> never. And to have moved it, it, it's taken 25 years, and I must say, we persuaded the gay community first, and I, and I would also say this, that I think that the AIDS epidemic cannot be discounted from this issue. It was then that we saw spouses barred from the hospital rooms of their dying loved ones, mm -hmm. cut out of their apartments. It revealed that we were vulnerable. Did and it also, give an urgency? It, 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 for me personally, and for a lot of us in this movement, we were doing this for our dead friends, to make sure they didn't die in vain, and to make sure no one would have to go through that again. Mm -hmm. And then on the other hand, many lesbians were beginning to have children and realized they had no protections over their own children, that they could be taken away from them by their own families, next of kin, legitimate next of kin, and they weren't recognized. So all that came together to create this momentum, and we knew that we'd have to lose we knew going into DOMA when I testified in 96 that we were going to get creamed. Mm -hmm. But my, my view, and I think the view of all of us uh, in this movement, was that we will lose, but every time we lose, we will make an argument. And every time we make that argument, someone will hear it. And then every time they meet a gay person, they will say, do I want to deny my son, my daughter, my mm -hmm. friend, my coworker, um, these rights? And that's what shifted. Mm -hmm. What shifted is from below. Yeah. 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 81, the latest poll shows 81% of people under 30 support this.